Good evening and welcome to the Boise State Esports Arena. Tonight you're joining us for a very special occasion. As the fall 2022 semester winds to a close, it is time to look back at how good the Broncos have been doing over the past year. Because when they started off in spring 2022, they left quite an impression, leave, winning mm -hmm. multiple tournaments, uh, Mountain West, ECAC tournaments, and tonight we are here to recognize the players for that and the various championship trains they have won in all those tournaments. I'm your host, Jacob Palmer, joined by Colin McJunkin to call all of the action for you here tonight. So, Colin, these players have been on quite uh, an, an intense journey over the oh, past yeah. year. 2022 has really been a banner year for Boise State East. Oh, yeah, and even, even now, right now, it's especially a banner year, and sort of looking back on the past achievements, it's only, it only indicates how far we've come, right? These achievements right now are only uh, amplified by us standing forward and moving forward as well. So as we kind of look back on tonight as well, and, and looking back we will, you'll notice a, still a lot of great achievements, and we deserve that. The players deserve that more than anything. Well, we are here with all the players, but not just the players. We are here with some of the individuals from the university who helped to make this all possible. And we want to give some special recognition to the head of the university, Boise State University President, Dr. Marlene Trump, and also Dean Sean Benner, who is here with us from the College of Innovation and Design. We have our own rings that we are handing mm -hmm. out to them right now. So we want to take some time to come and recognize them. We've got Doc on the floor also, who's going to be handing out the rings. I, I, I am on the floor. Uh, uh, we want to begin, Dr. Trump, Dr. Ben, by issuing you the rings that are also uh, part of this process. E every player needs a coach. Every coach uh, needs uh, someone to commiserate with, right, at all levels. So uh, you are part of this from every kind of word you say that leads to a sponsor that leads to someone supporting uh, something, a, a, a toilet that gets stopped up in this building, whatever it is. I, I just sound like I diminished it. I apologize. That's not it at all. Um, but we know that these rings are uh, a mark of an accomplishment, and players recognize that. But even more than that, they are a conversation uh, about these amazing players and the things that they've accomplished. And uh, as you carry our story forward, you lead this process. And as you can see, Doc is starting to hand out the various rings, and there are a lot of them. Like he said, there are four because we are highlighting four different uh, esports, uh, four different games that we have. Dr. Trump has just taken all of her reins, and now Dr. Sean Benner is being handed his from the College of Innovation and Design. That's what, that's what we've got here. We have so many rings. Uh, I, know, I know that production's got a, a shot ready to take a look at what the last um, three years uh, have been able to do. Um, but as we look upon the monitors, you can see all of the rings. I'll just take a quick second to explain what each of them uh, are on the three. Um, but <laughs> These four rings represent the work of about 30 people over the course of an entire year. For us, um, the expectation is to, is to always win our conference. That's the one thing that we feel like we can always control, and winning our conference um, is, is important. We won it in every game that our conference offered that we played, and we won the ECAC in Halo, which was the only true collegiate conference. Um, We've never had that level of success before. It kind of took us by surprise, uh, but it's it's definitely uh, worth it. I'll, I'll throw this back over to you. A huge round of applause for our leaders. Um, and all the green that they have unlocked uh, with this. Uh, thank you, folks. And uh, we'll carry forward. All righty. Thank you very much, Doc. And uh, yeah, thank you so much to uh, Dr. Trump and uh, Dr. Benner for showing up tonight to oh, support yeah. the Broncos. We could not have done it without him. I'm just going to bring this over here, actually, so we can kind of showcase this one at a time. This is a, what Doc was talking about, kind of yep. the full selection of rings that we have for the Broncos. And we're going to be going through these one game at a time because really the journey that each of these players has had one game at a time really needs to be showcased. And we actually start out 
with Rocket League. I'm actually holding up the ring here for Rocket League, as you can see. I don't know if production can zoom in close on this, but there's a lot of great detail. It says Mountain West. There's uh, the Rocket League car there. Yeah, there we go. Thank you very much. Quite the close-up. Yeah, you can see <laughs> right there. Fortunately, these are not going to be available uh, for anyone who calls in. But you can see uh, there's Boise State B on there. It uh, has each individual player's name on the side. Uh, just a lot of great details. And, of course, the Rocket League logo and showing what tournament that they got it in. So why don't you t uh, talk us a little bit through the journey that our Rocket League players have gone through. What, what was so, what's been so great about them in 2022? In 2022, just alone, I mean, they've always kind of had a dominating uh, presence. Not only, you know, this semester we can really talk about it, but last semester they had a dominating pres uh, presence as well. And having two of those players still with us today that uh, we can attribute these these Ws to, these Mountain West uh, Conference Championships, is really spectacular. And, and sort of having that last ending senior, uh, Cosmo, as well, who's, who's unfortunately not here in the arena with us today, who also earned a ring. But... Rocket League just was such a spectacular esports, and it still is a mm -hmm. spectacular esports for us to watch. I know it's just it's one of the coolest things to see that team go so far and, and do the things they do and, you know, just playing their hearts out. But we can only paint a picture so much mm -hmm. because in actually seeing the gameplay is yes. what really brings it to the table. So we have a highlight reel of what went down in spring 2022 for our Rocket League team. Just a bit wide. Instinct, though. And we're going to have Cosmo straight on it again. And there's a relief of pressure, but Gil's going to put it right back into play with an open net. Ooh, Instinct and Gil, the wombo combo comes through. Instinct finding the clear and giving the touch to oh. Cosmo. Is there a follow-up? Unfortunately, it is going to come from the Hawaii members. There's Gil up in the air, gets a good 50 on it. Ooh. Hat trick for Gil. Oh, see about where Cosmo just putting it in eight seconds into the game, already putting one in, and maybe they're on a mindset shift of we're not gonna let you score. I mean, if you just play keep away, keep the ball in the back third of the other team's side of the field, there's no opportunity for it to happen. Right there, that could create some relief if we can maintain possession and ball control here. We can. This could be closed out pretty early. Super Turtles trying to bring it up, but they're getting a lot of pressure on them. Instinct goes for oh. Big Lock. The goal's wide open. And Cosmo Buster comes in for the golden goal. There it is. There is that 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 demo right there. Clears up the net perfectly for Boise State and just leads it right into a 3-0 series win. Now, as Colin said, we have two mm -hmm. of the players from that season ready to accept their championship rings, and Doc is here ready to present them with their rings. First up, we have Kyle Instinct Addy. Let's go, Kyle. <laughs> and, of course, still playing with us this semester, I'm sure there's many more rings in his future, Gabriel Gill Reynolds. Ooh. Both Instinct and Gil actually still on the varsity team. So such a bright future ahead for them. We want to congratulate them. And as we said, Colin, we have university officials here as well as university president, uh, Dr. Trump. So we actually want to hand it over to her uh, to speak a little bit about the accomplishments the Blancos are celebrating tonight. Mm -hmm.
You're fantastic. Thank you very much. All right, we'll go right back to our, uh, our fantastic hosts. I, I actually uh, smiled a bit uh, when Dr. Trump was talking about talking about eSports as much as the football yeah, team because yeah. if you didn't catch uh, <laughs> KTVB on the 208 last night, Brian Holmes did a showcase on Boise State eSports, and he highlighted the fact, he actually said, and I quote, Boise State has gotten over 1,000 victories over the last six years. I mean, how do you think about that, Coach Andy? <laughs> so he, like, directly called out the football team. Uh, but, no, we're all supportive here of everyone at Boise State, whether it's the football team or eSports esports it's it's just great uh that these players are getting the recognition for the amazing accomplishments they have had and the accomplishments don't just extend to rocket league they also extend to halo and Oh my goodness, mm. the, the story of Boise State Halo is probably one of the most I inspirational that you we can have here mm -hmm. just in the terms of how quickly the team was formed and how instantly they they shot up to the top and still being a dominant force as well. And kind of was mentioned before, not only was it Mountain West, uh, Mountain West, which all their teams have sort of accomplished here, but it's also the ECAC tournament, which is the other uh, official collegiate tournament that is really big and, and, you know, kind of a difficult tournament to navigate your way through, not only the East Coast, but just quite a few magnificent teams. So this is a team that's really worthy of praise of how quickly they came together and just how dominant they were throughout it. And they didn't get the spotlight much for it, but nevertheless, they dominated either way and the way the way coach Moore kind of very scrappily at the beginning tried mm -hmm. to get as many players in as possible to form the halo team and how he led them in their first year to championship is just amazing we want to take a moment to show some of the highlights from boise state halo really uh send it out some nade spam coming out from Kentucky. Ooh, Calvin is undeterred. Oh, Calvin's popping off in that corner. Nominations. No, Calvin's around there, but they don't know where Calvin is. There's Calvin. Getting, hopefully, getting the elimination on him. Calvin goes down, though. Zeke with a perfect there on the bottom. Uh, oh, flag yeah. gets returned, sadly. They're so close. Off you know what? That amazing overkill by Reality. Yes! And Reality did everything they could that push. It just was barely not enough for Boise State to get it back. Near meters from capping. Zeke gets one. Zeke, Zeke gets two. two. That should be... Flag return? And just like that, Boise just State like that. takes it all. Boise State is now the winner of our ECAC. Oh. You there see everybody go. hugging. <laughs> Boise State won. Capture the flag on Aquarius. Really bringing it back oh. and coming <laughs> through for everybody in arena tonight. Doing a fantastic job and getting this victory against the University of Kentucky in the grand finals of ECAC Halo. <laughs> Now presenting the three players receiving the championship reigns. We are starting out, and apologies for any mispronunciations, Robert Reality Versity is going to be our first player. <laughs> Up next, Andrew the Mortar Haymauer. And then finishing it off with Zeke, Zeke, Wandler. <laughs> Another congratulations to the three players you see our uh, Halo coach, Coach Moore, handing them all out. There they all are with their rings. And just about saying of the rings, each of these rings is customized to the actual game that they have here. Mm -hmm. I'm actually holding up the Halo ring right here. It's got Master Chief uh, on the on the front here. Yeah, it's a see, it's, it's a beaut, man. That's yeah, a, I mean, it's a good ring. Yeah, the, each each of these rings is unique, has their players' names, and it's customized to the game that they competed in. So great job overall. Yeah, sometimes sometimes uh, the full of beauty of it cannot be captured, but I think everyone did get to see uh, the Master Chief customization. Now moving on to another game. 
We're moving on to Overwatch. And mm. boy, what a run they had. I do have to say, just on the topic of rings, before we talk, uh, move on to the highlights, I just want to say the Overwatch ring is a bit unique because it's the ring tonight we're handing out. If you can't see, it says on the bottom of the ring, 14 and 0. Boise State a, had an incredible Overwatch season. It was a big season. I, I think you can. I think you can attribute more to it, but just as sort of like a bystander watching and sort of just keeping updated as well. It was. It was fourteen and zero is not easy to do, especially when you have quite a few teams in there that aren't really to be scoffed at. Yeah, and it's teams that Boise State has had a history with mm -hmm. in the Mountain West, UNLV being among one of them. We just want to see how Boise State. Since this university was, uh, since this university's esports program was formed, mm -hmm. we have been trying to get to the top of the Mountain West. And a few years ago, it finally happened. Now we're reigning, defending champions. We're going to show you how Boise State claimed the championship yet again in Mountain West. to come in mid-fight because Boise State has the ult advantage. And the supercharger underneath getting some great advantage and damage, blocking the silence for anyone to eliminate. There's aggressive play by Hertz, wanting to eliminate it but can't do so as the big Omnic Butler comes in from the side angle to lay waste with now one minute and 55 seconds to go. Yeah, but now UNLV does have the advantage in the ults, having both the duplicate grab and the Primal Rage, but making sure to come out right on top of with a great wall to try to wall up that Zarya. Oh, and eat the grab. Eat on the grab. That is massive to prevent that clustering Boise State for them to try and take advantage of it. So a, a lot of eyes are going to be on Kel to try to eat that grab once again because that was a huge game changer for him. But he will miss. Oh, what a grab. Grab's going to come out. Actually talks tosses the blizzard out into this, doesn't drop below, and maintains this bridgeway position, locking down both Echo in the radius, the high moon comes out up top of Chase with a flashbang, there's no barrier large enough for you to survive through that hurts, online, to also synergize with Chosen to put the nail in the coffin. Max even with the disrespect, duplicate onto the Mercy, oh. respect Battle Mercy, and a great nano blade! comes through swiftly, slicing and dicing as if this is an infomercial at a late night hour that you watch on repeat, just getting pick after pick, and that's going to be a completion, a 3-0. Now presenting the Mountain West champions in Rocket League and uh, Overwatch, I'm sorry, Overwatch, it, it all blurs together all the victories. I'm sure you, can, you can attest, uh, Doc, Doc, it's like, oh, they want another one? In another game? Here are the Overwatch players. We're starting out with Mesu, uh, Asu, Mason, Asu, Franzak. Woo. Brian Plato Cron <laughs> Kellen Kel McGurkin Artie Nerdy Bird Rain John Chosen Ranella. Garrett Frost Strickler. I am not going to attempt this last name, so I'm just going to say it's Mark Maxwell. And finally, we have Jordan Bagel White. Let's go, Bagel. The sweaty comms, sure. Sweaty comms. I mean, hey, Bagel is known for his comms around. You can tell when Bagel's playing in the arena. 0. But I, I mean, again, 14 and 0 undefeated in the Mountain West. What an amazing run the Broncos had.
but it's not the only game. We have one last game to highlight, Boise State in Valorant. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Boise State's journey in Valorant? That was a really big game, just simply because sort of as an as underdog going into it as well, because that was the game to face Hawaii as well, which Hawaii, you know, before that was sort of uh, unofficially ranked at number three spot. So it was really important to sort of get on the right foot against against these guys and going into it. And beating them was so big because it just, it wasn't, you know, it was, it was neck and neck. We knew we could win. And beforehand, we had lost to them as well. So winning that game against Hawaii, beating a number three team, was absolutely massive and you could feel it in the arena as well i was here just this explosion in the in the ot of map three. Oh yeah 14 i think it was 12 i think it was <laughs> the final score and it was just like this ex bomb had went off of energy it was absolutely amazing and that team deserved it 100 percent. and in case you were wondering if you think we're underselling the match boise state had against hawaii i think that this replay is going to prove you wrong They fake it too, but that one's real and Calvin's ready for it. And that's the thing though, is B-Side is just so open here for Hawaii. It's really scary for them to hold this. They get a second one. Dreammaker knows when to hold and when to fold and takes out both of those. Ooh, yes, it actually gets ooh, Dreammaker though on the rotate. Have they don't have the Hunter Fury, so ooh. He doesn't even care. W Panda pinged or not, takes Mikey, no problems. Ooh. And another one, same angle, he's unreal. It's a 3v2 and there's low health. W Panda almost takes that last one. Oh my but god. follows up. Oh, it's not looking great. Calvin is able to find it, but it's two. A 1v1. He's going for the full. Ooh. There it is. Clutching it up. Calvin D pushing him to a 10-10. They're going to go forward. The dash is in. They find themselves into the KU utility. And a fantastic flick from Sky. He Ooh. finds a third one on top of it. He gets the knives out. And he's looking for blood. Boise State looking to close this one out. Panda on the hunt themselves. The spike will go down. Jeremiah. Panda looking for the obstruction. Finds... A member of Hawaii in welcoming arms gets a full array of bullets, but it's now t -Sid and the Odin versus the world of Boise State. And they're going to get taken out, and Boise State will do it! Now presenting the Valorant Mountain West champions. First, we have Jacob J. Bag Bagley. Luke Dreammaker Edwards. <laughs> Peter Skies Middlebrun. <laughs> and Brendan Jabald Woody. Well, all across all four games, a lot of great talent to mm -hmm. be showcased. Uh, some g amazing stories that have been told tonight. And, of course, some great guests that we have had here. Not only uh, Dr. Trump, but we also have Dr. Benner from the College of Innovation and Design here at Boise State to give a few remarks of his own. Yeah. 
All right, thank you, Doc. Thank you to uh, Dr. Trump and Dr. Benner for showing up with us tonight. I want to thank you, Colin, uh, for helping us go down this very, uh, very, it's just so inspiring, this memory lane that we've been able to travel mm -hmm. down. But it's not just the past two. I want to give a special note before we close out tonight. Boise State is still looking for more championship wins. You're going to want to tune in to NACE on this weekend as Boise State goes to the grand finals for national facing off against the UT Dallas Comets. So even as we're giving out the championship rings, the Broncos are still out there trying to get more added to the cabinet. So make sure to root on the Broncos this weekend. And thank you so much for joining us here tonight. Thank you to the players. Thank you to production. And thank you to all you viewers as well. We hope you have a good one.